Hey folks, week three. So if we want the path that we're going to be learning on to be individual, we want students to be able to, or learners to be able to map out their own direction. We want that to be an individual process and yet part of a community of knowing. How do we go about picking the things that are involved in the process? How do we go and choose content? It's, it's a word that, frankly, I've never really got my mind around. There's something about the choosing of content, the deciding that something is content, that the inclusion of some things and the exclusion of others way ahead of time, before you meet students, all that stuff that I've always found difficult to get my mind around. So that's the challenge for this week. Take that word content and peek underneath it and think about the ways in which it controls the learning process, the ways in which it restricts that sort of heterogeneity that we're looking for inside of learning and stretch it and pull it and see what we can come up with.